Welcome to emotional authority. If you're watching this and you have emotional authority, you know what that's like in terms of how much you can feel. You know that feelings run through your body. You may be aware of where they come from. You may not be aware of where they come from, but they will certainly have the effect of riling you up when you're upset and bringing you into a state of happiness when you're feeling good. Have you noticed that it's always changing? Have you seen the way that emotions are always in motion? Because they are. And generally speaking, this is an energy, it's like a chemistry within you that, that takes you into hope that everything's going to be as wonderful as it is right now and I wish it could last forever, and down to pain where it's just getting worse and worse and you can't see a way out and you just get in that negative funk where you don't really want to talk to anyone and if you do you just want to say it the way it is. So, and then it moves again up. So when you're at your lowest, you're not too far away from going up again. But it doesn't have a great deal necessarily to do with what's happening in your life. Have you seen that? You can feel strongly about anything. You know, the, the plant pot in the corner, it's something that you like. It's something that appeals to you. It's something that you, you love even. Or you can't stand it. It's something that's in the way. It's something you don't like the colour. You don't want all the, all the prickles on it if it's a cactus. You know. You're going to feel something about most things in your life. But where does it come from? It's a chemistry. It's a chemistry that you cannot stop. You know, my advice to you is don't try. My advice to you is understand how it is in your life and what it makes you do. I would ask you to get a perspective on what it is rather than how to control it because if you're emotional, there's nothing you can control here. I mean, you're going to feel what you're going to feel. The emotional center, in human design we call it the solar plexus center, is basically a mixture between awareness and a motor. So you generate emotions all the time. You do. It's what you do. It's